Go ahead. I'm getting it all together. Okay. I'm Louis Fertel, a Jeopardy loser whose sexuality will never be phrased in the form of a question, and you're watching The Snap, the show that thinks every TLC show should be called Zero Emmys and Counting. A whole new set of emojis may be added to your phone next year if they pass a vote and are deemed popular enough. You may be asking, why do we need new emojis when we already have every single race of gay hand flick? And the answer to that question is, this guy. Anyway, some of these emojis are complicated, so I'm going to explain how to properly use them. This is a black heart. Use this if you need to illustrate an x-ray of Ann Coulter. Ooh, clinking champagne glasses. This is for when you're at brunch and you're sure all your other friends wanna know you're at brunch. So never use this. Avocado, use this after you say something really smart because your opinions are special and they're worth 50 cents more at Chipotle. Aw, wilted rose. This is for when you realize the movie American Beauty is really overrated. It beat The Insider. God, remember liking Russell Crowe? Or use the wilted rose when you're watching The Bachelorette and they eliminate the one contestant who had any light in his eyes. An owl, use this if you need to draw Maggie Smith really quick. Prince, yes, Prince, the singer. Use this if you meet a guy and you can't tell if he's gay, straight, black, white, woman positive, a misogynist, a baby deer, or has ever shopped for adult pants in his life. Bacon, use this if you love bacon and wish it were on everything. And then also use it if you're somebody who uses loving bacon as an identity. You're sad and you don't know it. Oh, a shark. Use this if you want to name animals that have proven themselves to be more compelling performers than Katy Perry. Potato, use this if you need something in the shape of Brad Garrett's head. The call me hand, use this if you're somebody who leaves voicemails. Let's never meet. Come back to hitfix.com every week for new full length episodes of The Snap. And be sure to check around every single day for shorter versions of The Snap because the original is so long and undigestible. You all have no attention spans, you sicken me. This has been The Snap, the show that thinks gayness is like a Twilight Zone episode where everyone calls you sassy, but they're just boring. See you next week. Want to watch the latest episode of The Snap on your TV? Download the new HitFix Roku app.